Hello friends, my name is James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop Tritea. We are on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. We're currently working our way through the South Pacific. I can't wait to show you everything we see. Okay, time to haul up here at the Blue Lagoon Island and make way for Naviti Island, which is, I think, the next island south of here. It's an 11 mile passage. Um, so, get the engine warmed up and then we'll haul up and make way. So, the engine has been harder and harder to start and I'm certain now that it's the starter battery. Um, once she gets running, she runs like a top, but, um, I'm going to see if I can get a new starter battery on Viti Levu, which is what they call the mainland, the biggest island here in Fiji. That's where I'll be staying in a marina for a couple days before I clear out. I'm going to see if they have like a 12 volt starter battery there. If not, I'll get it in New Zealand. It'd be better to get it in New Zealand, but I also don't want to get stuck without having an engine that starts. So, we'll see how hard it is to start this morning. She's trying. Reef break is not on the charts. Um, other cruisers had put in Navionics in the like uh, um, active captain sort of thing. They had marked that there were breaks there, but they're not in the actual charts.
made the turn, pointing straight at our anchorage. There's no boats in there, which is cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to this spot. It's well protected. Winds are supposed to increase tonight and tomorrow and the next day. We might, we'll probably be here two nights, but we'll see. Um, it's very well protected from the direction of the winds. Um, and there's supposed to be some cool stuff to see in the water here. The white sand beaches look crazy beautiful. at Naviti Island. We're in 30 feet of water, all sand. Couldn't hear any evidence of coral when the hook was setting and she set good and set instantly on the first try. Um, we're surrounded by coral, but we're in a really good spot. We could even swing 360 if we needed to. Okay, we got anchor watch knocked out. Been here a few hours and now it's time to head ashore. The mission is to find a trail that cuts across the island so that we can go snorkel over a 1945 plane wreck. It was a US Air Force uh, or US military plane that the pilot crash landed it in the lagoon over there. And that's the whole reason we came to this anchorage. So, I read varying reports about whether or not the trail is still there or not. Um, we're gonna go see. I have all my gear set up, ready to go. Got our little dinghy anchor. And um, let's go find this plane. deep right up to the beach. Very deep, that's crazy.
All right, adventure time. Let's go find this trail. Definitely looks like we're on the trail. Someone said in Navionics that they had to turn back because like two thirds of the way there, but I brought a machete. So we'll see if we can find our way through. Well, we made it, at, made it out of the jungle portion. We're now into the prairie portion. There's like a billion little like switchbacks and like cutoffs where you gotta like try to watch where it is. Spider. Yikes. Now we seem to be in the coconut challenge. At this point, I don't even know if I'm on the trail, but I can walk, so we're gonna keep walking. Awesome, we made it. Um, let's get down on the beach, pull out my phone and figure out where this plane is. Someone on Navionics in the active captain community has, oh, there's a building right there, has put the pin in Navi Navionics. 
That's how I found the trailhead as well, because they had put the pin on the trailhead. Okay, so it says it's right there somewhere. We'll just kind of walk until we're in line with the pin and then get in the water. It looks like it's about a quarter mile walk this way. We just gotta remember to come back to that house and find our trail. like a swamp. Okay, we've made it to where the plane wreck is. Directly out there somewhere. There's like an orange float, which I'm gonna swim to first. And if that's not it, then there's a white mark way out there. And that would be the next spot. I think that's too far though. I think there's this, this orange float I think is marking the wreck. And, um, Pretty nasty, there's so much trash. Just like... Guess everything sweeps up on this beach. So, uh, let's get in the water and go see this plane. On May 30th, 1943, the P-39 Air Cobra took off from Fiji, piloted by Lieutenant John H. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald ditched the plane into a shallow water lagoon off the coast of Naviti Island in Fiji's Yasawa Group. The pilot survived the ditching unharmed. A myth propagated about the history of this aircraft, incorrectly claiming that a Spitfire ditched out of fuel in 1943. The pilot waited for rescue, none came, and he integrated with the local Fijian tribe and was posted missing in action. In reality, Fitzgerald was rescued by a seaplane dispatched from a military base nearby. I found the following information online about the day the plane went down. They all told the same story. They clearly remembered it circling and landing on the dried out reef in the lagoon. It was Sunday. Everybody said it was Sunday. The people rushed excitedly to it and milled around, making a lot of noise. Even the other tribe from the other side of the island came. At first, the pilot was sitting in the plane with the door open. As the people gathered, the pilot became nervous and closed himself inside the aircraft. After a while, the chief had control of the crowd and the situation, and the pilot got out of his aircraft. He was made welcome in the village, and the chief placed a guard on the aircraft. A day or two later, a Catalina from Sawini Bay arrived with some men, removed the bullets from the plane, and took the pilot away with them. That was pretty neat. Um, I'm glad they had that float and it was was where I thought it was. I couldn't believe how small that plane was. Really shocking how small it was. Um, I had no idea. Um, okay, now it's time to make our way back across the island. And there's like a riverbed here. We're gonna try to find a different route so we don't have to walk through this silly shit again. Um, we might end up backtracking. Um, and having to go that way, but uh, yeah, let's let's go this way and see what's up. Ugh, bog. Nasty.
and uh, it has not been easy. But I didn't want to walk through the water again. It was so nasty. We're back to a wash. Oh, and here's those buildings. I think we're out of the worst of it. We made it out. That was terrible, but better than walking through the water. Kind of spooky in here now that it's getting dark. I gotta figure out where the trail goes. A little spooky. There's crabs running everywhere. Just ran into another SoCal sailor. He's got Barry. We had written a couple of times over the years online. He's anchored out by Tritea. I saw him come in earlier and looked him up at binoculars and saw, saw it was his boat, but it's funny to run into other SoCal sailors in Fiji. My dinghy's still here. Enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching, fair winds until next time.